ever since oil started pulling back from $148 at the peak to $121, the street's become increasingly nervous that companies will stop ordering new oil rigs, causing Kramer fave national oil well Varco, the number one maker of rigs and rig components, to take a beating. The stock fell from its 52-week high of $92.70 to as low as $70.95 recently. Strangely, and I think strangely, and others might disagree, that every time the oil futures take a dive, like we had today when the oil futures were down $2.66. And, and by the way, we do think the dive will continue into the 110 to 120 area. People blow this stock, NOV, out big time. It goes from house of pleasure to the house of pain after every $2 increment down. Uh, look, today, the stock was down $4.25 on a 5.1%. Uh, that's a 5.1% pullback on a $3 pullback in oil. Now, I've got to ask you, is that right? Should we be that wildly emotional? Should we trade this stock, the largest maker of oil rigs, off every futures tick? Should we just demolish it when the t futures tick down? National Oil Varco simply doesn't look like a company that's getting hurt by lower oil prices. And since the earnings report clearly wasn't enough to take the stock back to its 52-week high, by the way, full disclosure, I have owned this stock for ActionAlertsPlus.com. And by the way, um, I recommended this stock a long time ago in August of 2005 as my favorite in the group when it was at $26.97. I mean, that's unbelievable. Frankly, it's, it's pretty good. It's at 78. But I got I to gotta find out myself. I got to find out if the worries and fears are right. So I want to bring on Pete Miller. And he's a National Oil Varco's excellent CEO to explain, perhaps in his words, why the company has longer term prospects and the pullback in oil doesn't hurt him. Mr. Miller, welcome to Mad Money. Well, thank you very much, Jim. And a big booyah to you from all your fans down in Texas. Yes! Yes! I love it! Thank you so much. And thank you for, uh, I know you guys are fans of the show. Uh, today we had a tick down in oil and went down a couple of bucks. And uh, all of a sudden I see put buying, I see short selling, I see guys trying frantically to get out of national oil well Varco. And my question to you is, on a day when the oil's down three, do you get a lot of cancellation or rig orders? <laughs> Not at all, Jim. If, if you take a look, our backlog today is at $10.8 billion. A lot of that backlog stretches out well into 2011, and we don't put something in our backlog unless it's contractually uh, contracted for, and it's also, in many cases, a prepay. So the price of oil escalating and going up and down like that does not impact our capital business one iota. Now, where historically uh, your business has done well when oil's going up, would one ten hundred and ten dollars matter? You think? Would one hundred dollars matter? Not at all, Jim. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at our backlog, a lot of it was ordered as much as two years ago. It takes that long and even longer to build these big offshore rigs. So you are actually ordering this equipment from us when the price was a lot lower. So the fact of the matter is the lead times on this are so significant that you're making a bet on the future, not what's going on right here today. Now, I know international is a big part of your business, and obviously when we read about these big international fines, and Exxon, I certainly know after the quarter wishes it had found more, uh, how much does it matter that, uh, that we don't didn't, uh, drill uh, offshore in our country to your business? Well, fortunately for me, it, it, it doesn't matter that much for my business. I think it matters for our country. And I wish we did more offshore, but the fact of the matter is we're building rigs that are going to go offshore in Brazil. They're going to go offshore in West Africa. They're going to go offshore in Norway and in the North Sea, very environmentally sensitive places. These are great rigs, and we're going to continue to be able to support those around the world. Uh, again, wish we could do more here, but that's a political issue that I don't have much control over. Every time I'm on one of your conference calls, I'm amazed about the technology you have. Could, do you think that the technology you have is different from 1969 when the Union Oil spill washed up on Santa Barbara? Absolutely, Jim. I would put it this way. If you own a 1969 Corvette or a 1969 Mustang, 
you like to drive those around on a Saturday morning, but you want a 2008 car to take you to and from work. The fact of the matter is these rigs are state-of-the-art technology, computerization, robotics, uh, PLCs. They're, they're, they're as advanced as your new automobile is today. We are an extremely safe industry. We're an industry that takes care of our people on these rigs, and we also make sure that we take care of the environment. The difference right. between 1969 and today is incredible. Uh, terrific. And I wish, that, I wish there were people in Congress who knew that. One last question. You made a comment on the conference call, which I thought was rather amazing. You've been saying this, that the U.S. domestic land rig business because of all these shales that we've discovered could go from 1,890 rigs to as many as 2,200 to 2,300 rigs. What would that do to your business? Well, it would help it tremendously, but I think even more so it would help this country tremendously. Right. Right. You know, take a look at these shales from the Marcellus to the Haynesville to the Barnett shales. These are outstanding wells. These, the technology we have today allows us to do things with natural gas that we, that we haven't been able to do in the past. So we're excited about the prospects of building rigs and providing this country more gas. Pete Miller, thank you so much. Thank you. And, Jim, you have a great vacation next oh, week. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, we're supposed to say it, but that's all right. That's terrific. National Oil Well Varco, Chairman, President, and CEO. Listen, if you believe, like I do, that oil, even though I'm negative on oil short term, that oil stays over $100, National Oil Well Varco, with the, with, no, no exceptions, is the single best drilling-related company to own in the world. Take advantage of the decline. Start building a position and stay with Kramer.